In this video, I will go over the interface of FX Dreamer. And to start with, we will navigate now and create our new project. This will be done by pressing on the project tab on the left side of the display. Here you can either uh, load a project or create a new one, import a project or create a shared copy. This means share your project to somebody. Up are the project options. You can access them by pressing on this button. Here you will be able to set the magic number. Magic number is a number that each EA has so it doesn't interact with other EAs and creates mess. Next is the expiration date. Here you can set when the EA will expire. Then here you can put in the copyright for your EA, the description, the uh, website address it should link to and the version number. Additionally to this, here are all kinds of settings you can disable or enable. Name of your EA by changing this text. Let's change it to Udemy. On this side, all the blocks are stored. By drag and dropping them on your dashboard, you can start working with them. You can, by double clicking on them, get this information board. Here you can either turn it on off or even copy them and you can paste them. On the right side, there's the history tab. By pressing on them, you can see all the changes that has been done in the EA and you can navigate between different versions of the EA. But by pressing on the question mark, you, a pop-up will appear and it will go over all the basic understanding of the blocks and help you figure out what the, what the blog is actually doing. So that's pretty much it. I went over the basic stuff. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I will, of course, be here to help you.